Hello Heavy Metal Maidens and Masters, I'm Heavy Metal Mama and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am doing a little anti-haul. I haven't done one of these before and I thought I would take a little page out of Emily Boo's book and do an anti-haul, but before we get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do. Hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and welcome. So, an anti-haul. I basically am stealing Emily Boo's idea. Sorry, Emily, love you, but it's such a great idea. And we're doing an anti-haul. This is basically everything that I have sent back, everything I have returned in the last, what, four months, five months? So, let's get on with this. Okay, most of these items are Killstar, but the first item is not Killstar. Okay, the first thing is the Chemical Black Posy Leggings. Now, these are cute leggings. I really, really wanted them to be great. I really wanted them. You know, I was really excited. That's why I ordered them. So the first time I ordered them in a small. I am a UK 8 to 10. I am 160 centimetres. That is five foot three tall. Now, these leggings, they are 95% cotton, 5% elastane, except for the detachable bondage straps, which is why I bought them, which are made of 100% polyester, and they have the same 100% polyester, it's like webbing, it's like that wonder webbing that backpack straps are made out of, that goes all the way down the side of the leg in a strip. I thought they were really different. They're similar to a pair of Killstar trousers, but I just, I didn't want to buy a pair of Killstar trousers. They were quite expensive, the Killstar version, and their sizing is so awful for trousers. I just didn't want to go there. I just thought, no, no, don't want to go there. So I thought I'd try a different brand, which was Chemical Black. They turned up, they were really cute. I tried them on and I have got quite chunky calves. It's just the way I am built. Apparently, I don't bend my ankles when I walk. I walk like a penguin, which means that my calves are pretty muscular. And they were tight. Because it's got this polyester webbing strap down the side, although the leggings are really stretchy, the strap means that all of a sudden you lose all that side stretch. So I could just get into them, but I was really worried I was going to pop the stitching on the inside seam where the webbing wasn't because the webbing left no room for any sort of stretch. They were also quite long on me. So if you're a tall, skinny lady with no shapeliness to your legs, these might be the trousers for you. The other thing is because they were quite tight, they were stretched really, really, really taut, which meant you could see straight through them, which isn't a good look. <laughs> so <laughs> because they've got these bondage straps on them, I wasn't gonna wear them like I'd wear a normal pair of leggings. My rule with normal leggings is you always wear a top that covers your crotch. The point of leggings is they're just thicker tights sort of thing. These were trousers that I wanted to wear and because of the straps, I wanted to be able to show off the crotch area because obviously that's the point of the straps. And they were so thin, you could see my knickers straight through them which was a shame. They also have this, as well as this side trim, they have like a double layer of the cotton elastane material over like the knees and down the, sh the shins with these slash marks in them, which was just a really nice little detail. It gave them extra texture, but, but because they were pulled really taut, they looked a bit weird, which was a shame. So I sent them back and sized up. I ordered a medium because I ordered them from Kate's. She's got an amazing returns policy. So I, you know what I'm like, I'm always doing orders. So I, the next order I put in, I just ordered a medium as well because I'd got a refund on the small. The mediums turned up. I tried them on. I was like, oh, they're not too tight around the calves. They look much better around the calves, but they were baggy around the waist. And again, as I said, because I wanted to have the straps on show, they just, it it just wasn't flattering and although they weren't the 40 pound killstar price i think with my discount i got a, they were about 27 28 pounds which is quite expensive for leggings but i thought was quite good for a pair of trousers but i wouldn't have been able to wear them as a pair of trousers they would have just basically been a pair of leggings with a nice little detail down the the side of the leg a bit like an adidas stripe but not an adidas stripe it was this webbing stripe and these cool knees the other thing is, because I'm quite short, where the detail is supposed to be on your knees, it wasn't really on my knees, <laughs> so <laughs> it was just a bit too long. It was one of those things where it was like, I really want to, I really want them, I really want to like them, but they're 
they're not coming up on me as I would have hoped. I think if you're a bit taller than me, like I said before, I'm 160 centimeters, five foot three. If you're maybe five foot six, something like that, they'd be great on you. But the knee bits just sat below the knee, which looked odd and the waist was just too baggy and it was I was gutted really really gutted because they were you know on paper they were a great pair of trousers but there we are so as a you know Kate has an amazing returns policy I returned those ones as well and as I mentioned before my discount code at Kate's if you want a 15% discount at Kate's clothing you can use the code heavy Halloween 15 for a 15% discount that is valid until the end of October there will be a new code in November or whatever month of the year it is that you are watching one of my videos there will be a new code just go to my latest video and the newest Kate's clothing code will be down in the description box and possibly in the video as well if it's a Kate's clothing video <laughs> <So> <laughs> At the moment, as it is the run up to Halloween, Kate's Clothing also has a three for two sale, which is better than the 15% discount. So if you're buying one item, 15% off, wonderful. If you're buying a few items, three for two on anything, anything in the store, three for two. So yeah, go let yourself loose. You, it's worth it. I've already bought a lot of hair dye. Because so <laughs> I get through a lot of hair dye. So. But yes, that is the Kate's Clothing discount code. Right, now everything else in this video is Killstar. I love Killstar. I don't want to wail on Killstar. I do and I don't. I think some of their stuff is beautiful. I've got a lot of items from them that I truly, truly love. But I'm picky. I'm really picky with Killstar because I know that there are certain things that won't work. I know that there are certain things that the material, as soon as I read what the material is made of, if there are certain things I now go, nope, I don't want to buy that. So unfortunately, all of these things I was like, these should be good, and turned out not to be so much so. Obviously, if you want to have a discussion about Killstar quality, if you want to discuss size, fit, whatever, join the Killstar Addicts Anonymous group on Facebook. Link to it is down in the description below, as with all the other groups that I run on Facebook. I think there's nine of them now that I help in some way run. So, you know, go down to the description box, join some of those groups. We'd love to have you there for the discussion. Okay, so the first top, if you saw my previous Kate's Clothing haul, you will have seen the moment when this top broke. <laughs> this is the Killstar Jenny top or it was now it's just kind of boring <laughs> so I was quite impressed with this top not overly enamored with it wasn't my favorite thing but what I really liked was the skull charm on the front if you watch that video you can actually see the moment it snaps off when I'm filming the try on <laughs> it snapped off it's now it's just kind of I mean, luckily, because I got it from Kate, she was amazing. I emailed her and said, look, it snapped off. She immediately refunded me the money. She didn't even ask if I wanted a refund or whatever. I was going to say, you know, do you want me to send it back to you? She just refunded me because she's fantastic. Now, it snapped off here at the top, which, you know, I was thinking, OK, the, you know, the metal's a bit crap. My daughter pointed out later when she was having a look at it, because I did say to her, if you want, you can craft with it or something. She said, but look, mummy, all the bones are, are pointing the wrong way and if you look all the little bones at the bottom of the crossbones are now pointing up which the only thing I can think is that it got too warm in the washing machine but I only wash at 40 I mean I know they say wash everything at 30 but it's tough I'm washing everything at 40 it kills the germs it needs to be more than 37 to kill the germs so I wash at 40 it's it's kind of melted the cross on it I mean it's just cack material quite frankly I wasn't that enamoured with the top anyway because of the material that the top is made of. It's not my favourite material. It's just a bit too thick. It's a little bit too short. I do really like the shape of it. If they could make it this shape but make it out of cotton, I would have been so much more enamoured with it. And it's such a shame because, you know, I, thought I was quite chuffed with it. But I've still got it. I'll figure out something to do with it. But, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame, really. So, in that... Kate's clothing haul that I spoke about where I got this I also got the snarl maxi skirt that is the very long floor length jersey maxi skirt with the hook and eye details all the way down the front of your pelvis sort of thing they come to maybe just above mid thigh really really cute really cute and then it's got a slit either side beautiful skirt beautiful skirt love that skirt and because I had ordered that skirt and I love that skirt I wanted a top to go with it with the hook and eye detail on as well so I ordered the Killstar ICU capped sleeve top now unfortunately I didn't think to film this before I returned it 
it is the same shape neckline as this but instead of having this short zip here it has the hook and eye details all the way down the front but instead of it being made out of this which is 60% rayon 35% nylon 5% elastane it is 95% rayon 5% elastane so it's a much nicer more thinner jersey material it had a ribbed material so it had stretch um it was too long there's me moaning about this one being too short that one was too long because i wanted to wear it with the snarl skirt it hid all the detail from the snarl skirt it was also too big so normally everything in Killstar I'm a small I'm always a small always a small I haven't bought any trousers so I don't know about trousers but everything else I am always a small I could have easily gone to an extra small in that and I did um and ah about should I return it and get an extra small maybe that would fit better but it was just a bit boring it was just I mean in the same way that now this doesn't have the skull on it this is kind of boring it was just it felt like something that I could have got from Boohoo or I want one of those or I saw it first or something or any of those nasty gal those kind of online cheapy shops you know or even somewhere like New Look for 15 quid as opposed to the 27 pounds 30 pounds that the top was it, it was just you know you, you're like it's all right there's, I, not, I can't say anything but it's not there's nothing bad about it but there's nothing that's making me go I love this and when something's that expensive I just thought I don't know I'm not going to choose this over other things in my wardrobe so I returned it I did try it on with a couple of different other skirts that I have I tried it on with some skater skirts and my beautiful necessary evil high low midi length skirt I cannot remember what that's called I'll put the name of it and a picture of it up here to see whether I would like it more but because it was a bit too big it just was a bit baggy at the waistline it just didn't wasn't doing anything for me so and sadly I returned that I mean if you want a long top that is definitely one for you it was long and you know it was kind of annoying because I'm always moaning that the tops are too short and then I ta-da woohoo get one that's long and that's the one time when I want it to be shorter <laughs> so it's sod's law isn't it it's just sod's law but yeah so that was the Killstar ICU capped sleeve top Okay, so the next item that I returned is the Killstar Harness Your Power Top. Now, I saw Toxic Tears wearing this in an Instagram picture and I was like, oh my God, I love that top. It looked amazing on her. I loved the harness. I loved the fact that the harness was really thick. It had lovely rings in just the right places. It was really sexy. The harness on it is adjustable, which was, you know, one of the things that a lot of people whinge about with Killstar, including me, is that sometimes when they have the pentagram harnesses, they're too baggy. I've got a Killstar top. I can't remember the name of it. I'll put it up there. It's one of the ones that it's mesh at the front. It was beautiful. Again, the it had the same thickness straps in the pentagram harness. Well, was the, is the pentagram at the back? The pentagram's at the back on that one. It was too way too big, way too big. I had to I had to chop like about two inches off of the straps at the back and re-sew them. It's a good job that I'm, you know, quite quite crafty like that. Again, you can see the video where I try that on and explain what I did to it, etc., up there in the eye and down in the description. But this one, it was beautiful. Really, really liked the harness. What I didn't like was the material the actual top was made out of. Now it is this stretchy woven fabric it's 72 percent rayon 24 percent nylon 5 percent elastane it's the same material that a lot of the necessary evil like dresses and crop tops and i've got their capri pants they're made out of that and for those kind of items that need a bit of structure they need a bit of shape it's great but it looked like it was going to be like a really comfy harness top and it just didn't feel like it needed to be made out of that material. I get the feeling if you be, were sat down for a long time, it was going to wrinkle around your waist. It was also, as my usual bugbear, a bit too short. If it had been two inches longer, I may have kept it. I may have kept it because then it would have only been, uh, uh, is it comfortable? I'm not sure if it's really that comfortable. It just felt uncomfortable under the arms here. And where it had the zip up the back, it was just a little bit difficult to get in and out of. And it felt bulky behind the bra. And I just felt that it was unnecessary that it was made out of that. They could have made it out of the same material as the Jenny top, the 60% rayon, 35% nylon, 5% elastane. And it would have been so lovely and comfy. But it, it just, it wasn't very comfy. I think in my mind, I was thinking, 
brilliant. This is going to be a comfortable top that's got that little bit of extra something something that I can wear with um, the snarl maxi skirt and that kind of thing. I was thinking this is going to be great. It was it did look all right with the snarl maxi skirt. It was just again a little bit too short. I just would have preferred it to have been maybe another inch or two inches shorter and then it wouldn't have been too long. It would have just sat nicely, covered up that little mum tum, the little the podge that just never goes away. It doesn't matter how many sit-ups you do or crunches or whatever, it just never goes away. It it was just such a shame, such a shame. I really wanted to like it, I really wanted to like it, but it just didn't quite do it for me. I really liked the fact that the harness was adjustable, but I just feel like I could go to Primark, buy a vest top from Primark for a fiver, and then buy a harness from eBay or Amazon or Etsy, and end up with the same look for £10 less or £20 less, depending on, you know, I'd, I mean, I'd rather buy the harness from Etsy because at least you're supporting a small business then. But I think I could have spent less money and had a more comfortable top. And also then you can just take the harness off and wear it with anything, can't you? I was just a bit gutted about it, really. I really wanted to like it, but yeah, it was just such a shame. I think I could have sized up and it might have been more comfortable, but I also think it would have been too baggy. I got it in a small, as I always do, I think if I'd have got a medium, it would have just hung off me a bit and wouldn't have looked as good. And again, then what's the point? If it doesn't look good, why keep it? I have a lot of clothes. I need things to look amazing or I'm just not going to bother keeping them. So yes, that was the Killstar pa Harness Your Power top. Okay, so the last thing in my anti-haul that I returned, which was to go with the Harness Your Power top, was the Killstar Division Maxi Skirt. I really wanted this. I was desperate for it. I'd seen it on the Addicts Anonymous group. So many people rocking it, looking amazing in it. I was so excited about it, so excited. So this is a stretchy jersey skirt. It is 30% rayon, 35% nylon, 5% elastane. Hence why I thought the Harness Your Power Top would be made of the same material as well, because they're always pictured where being worn together. So it's again that material, same as the Jenny Top, same as this. It's got an elasticated waist, so it's comfortable, and these really cool statement PU straps. They're really cool. They sort of hang low, like the Killstar, I can't think what the belt's called. Again, this belt, put it up here. I love that belt. I have that belt. I was thinking, this skirt's going to be immense. It is immense. I got it in a small, fitted me beautifully. It's so revealing, so unbelievably revealing there was just I just couldn't justify having it there is almost no places that I would go where I could wear it and feel comfortable the only place I could think where I would wander around being like I freaking rule in this skirt would have been London Edge and London Edge isn't going on I don't even know if it's going on in in February so I potentially could have had that skirt for over a year before I would have even got to wear it and London Edge and then there would have been the next thing that I would have wanted to wear at London Edge I couldn't wear it to a restaurant. I certainly couldn't wear it around my dad. I mean, it basically felt like, you know, at the end of Resident Evil, the original film, where um, Alice is in the, she sort of wakes up in like the, the medical room and she's got on that paper dress. And it's just like little straps along the side and a big sheet of paper that hangs down the front and down the back. It was basically that. I, <laughs> It felt like I was wearing knickers and I had a strip of material hanging down the front and a strip of material hanging down the back. It was like a big nappy, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I know it's supposed to be sexy, but I didn't feel sexy in it. I felt on show. I mean, it was skimming my pants. It was, I, I think if maybe if I was 15 years younger, I would rock that and I wouldn't worry about it as much. But I know that age is just a number and blah, 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 but... I just felt that, that it was just felt a bit inappropriate to be wearing it and it was not a cheap skirt and I just didn't feel that I could justify owning it to probably wear it once or twice a year. It was just too expensive. The snarl skirt has got the slits down the side but is nowhere near as revealing and so I felt that I'd scratched that itch with having that skirt with the double split down the side. Yeah, I just couldn't do it, even with doing all the rock fit, and I'm definitely getting getting more toned. I need to stop eating cookies and brownies and, yeah, I need to stop baking, basically. <laughs> but, and then I'd definitely see more of a benefit of it. But I just didn't feel that I could go out and 
not be stared at for the wrong reasons. You know, I like being stared at because I look flipping cool, not because everything's on show, you know? <laughs> so it's beautiful. And I've seen so many people absolutely rocking in it. It just felt a step too far for me personally. But there are so many people that absolutely rule that skirt and I'm so jealous of you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so let me know which was your favorite item from the anti haul, if that makes any sense. Let me know if you have any of these items and have kept them. Let me know what you've returned to Killstar and why. I mean, obviously I know sometimes I have quality issues. I think there's gonna be a lot of that with a lot of the manufacturing that goes on in China. Apparently people aren't being able to get out there to QC things, which means that they're just gonna let everything out. So we are gonna get more quality issues. I think that's gonna be with every brand going, unfortunately. But let me know what you have loved, what you have hated recently from every brand. I'd like to hear, obviously, I, you know, these are just the few brands that I have recently bought, but let me know. Remember to use that discount code at Kate's Clothing, or of course, use that amazing three for two offer that's probably gonna go on to the end of the month. I think she said the end of October might go on for longer. I don't know, check on the website. It literally is the top banner that tells you that it's going on. I think the code is organized AF. I'm not sure if you, I'll, I'll put it here, but yes, let me know if you enjoyed that. Sorry, Emily, for stealing your video idea, but it's a blinking good one. I would like to speak to you all in the comments. Remember to like this video. Like I said, comment down below, subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already hit that notification bell so you can find out whenever I upload and remember people stay heavy.